गुड मॉर्निंग माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स सॉरी नॉट गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स बी हैप्पी मेक अदर्स हैप्पी पॉसिबल ग्रो ओल्ड एंड डाई विद ग्रो ओल्ड ग्रेसफुली एंड डाई विद डिग्निटी नाउ टुडे टॉपिक इज राइफल फायर आर्म ओन बैलिस्टिक्स आई विल टीच यू इन डिटेल द अपियरेंस ऑफ वूंड वेन ए पर्सन इज शॉर्ट बाय a rifled firearm in detail and most of the time at least one question may be asked from this topic okay now you see once a gun is fired whether it is a pistol or revolver or ak47 rifle military rifle anything all these are examples of rifled firearm pistol and revolvers are handguns AK-47, AK-56, 10 guns. All these are carbines, and rifle and military rifle. They are shoulder guns. Okay, and I don't want to talk about the content of the cartridge. The cartridge, as you know, it has got a percussion cap. Just next to percussion cap is the primer. Next to primer is the propellant. Next to the propellant is the projectile. projectile in rifle firearm is known as bullet when the trigger is pressed the firing pin hits the percussion cap that give rise to a spark that burns the primer primer acts as a fuel in turn primer burns the gunpowder some part of the gunpowder is completely burnt majority of the gunpowder is completely burnt some amount is partially burnt and some amount is unburnt okay it produces you know enormous amount of gases say for example if 1 gram of gunpowder is burnt it produces about 10 to 12 liters of gas it has to come out only by pushing the projectile that is bullet and bullet comes out through the muzzle end of the gun along with the bullet other products of firing also will come out through the muzzle end as you see in this picture you see in this picture there is flame along with flame definitely there will be hot air the completely burnt gun powder give rise to smoke and soot partially burnt and unburnt particle give rise to small 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 particles i am going to tell what are the products of firing and what are the effects on the body now in this picture you can see properly you can see the flame remember along with the flame there will be hot air remember again when the flame or hot air touches the skin it burns the skin and it burns the hair burning the hair is known as singeing burning the skin is also known as scorching okay number 1 number 2 smoke and soot when the smoke and soot hits the skin it give rise to blackening blackening is also known as smudge okay when the unburnt particles and partially burnt particles hit the skin it just penetrates the epidermis and get embedded in the dermis that give rise to a condition called tattooing or peppering and as all of you know when the bullet hits the skin it forms a wound of entry wound of entry okay so all these are products of firing now already i told you let me go a bit faster products of firing and its effects flame and hot air give rise to scorching or burning of the skin and burning of the hair known as singeing soot and smoke give rise to a condition called blackening or it is also known as smudging the powder particles give rise to tattooing or peppering rarely we also call it as powder stippling and finally the bullet bullet give rise to wound of entry plus grease collar and abrasion and or contusion collar around the wound of entry sometimes there may be wound of exit also okay now look here now what you see is a pistol 
products of firing now we i already mentioned what are the effect on the skin now we see the minimum what travels is the flame and hot air next is the smoke and soot next is the powder particles and maximum which traverses is the projectile that is bullet okay now look at this question in firearm injury blackening around entry wound is due to it is a very very simple question smoke but at the same time the question asked even though it is a simple question this question has recently initiated exam in november 22 in a firearm injury tattooing is noted around the wound of entry the cause for tattooing is all of you know now we got one question of any said easily unburned gunpowder particles unburned gunpowder particles okay now if you want to go to higher level like inset level you have to know the distance traveled by products of firing on an average okay now look here product rifle fire on shotgun remember all these products travels lesser in case of hands handguns okay now flip a rifle fire on flame can travels maximum up to 8 cm of course on an average maybe around 3 inches okay whereas in case of shotgun it is more 15 cm or around 6 inches why it is more in shotgun because you know the amount of gunpowder in the shotgun cartridge is more than the rifle fire on because the cartridge of shotgun is bigger it accommodate more gunpowder so flame also traverses more let's come into the smoke smoke is double than the flame you can remember smoke tra uh, traverses double than the flame if it is around 3 inches it goes to 6 inches in case of rifle fire arm and in shotgun if flame goes to 6 inches it traverses 12 inches or 1 foot in case of shotgun and powder particles powder particles no need to remember exactly 40 to 50 60 to 100 it just remember handguns that is pistol and revolver half meter half meter where rifles and shotgun you can remember 1 meter 60 to 90 or 60 to 100 is okay you remember maximum 1 meter okay and the question related to this i will show you later okay now what are the different ranges different ranges as all you know contact shot means muzzle is touching the skin muzzle is touching the skin again there are three different types of contact shots i am going to explain later number one tight contact where there is indentation of the skin number two loose contact the muzzle is just touching the skin but there is no indentation of the skin number three angled contact where the muzzle is kept at an angle or the gun is kept at an angle okay and in case of contact shot all the products of firing will enter into the body what do you mean by close range or close shot close shot means target is beyond the reach of the muzzle end but within the reach of the flame and hot air that means the in this particular picture the target or the person is between a and b within the range of the flame okay what do you mean by near range or near shot near range or near shot mean the target or the person is beyond the reach of the flame but within the reach of the smoke and soot that means the person is standing between b and c b means the reach of the flame c is the reach of the soot and smoke intermediate range or intermediate shot means the target or the person is beyond the reach of the smoke but within the reach of the powder particles intermediate range or intermediate shot but here one important thing i would like to tell you in the book 
by Dr. Narayan Reddy. He clubbed both near shot and intermediate shot together as near shot. According to Narayan Reddy, near shot means near shot plus what I am showing intermediate shot. But in go to innocent level, I would like to divide near shot separately from intermediate shot. I will show you one related question asked in innocent. Okay. And finally, distance shot. Distance shot means the target is beyond the reach of all the products of firing. Beyond the reach of all the products of firing. That is distance shot. Okay. Now, look here. If the target is in the distant shot or distant range, as I told you earlier, the products of firing and the effects on the body, there will be only wound of entry surrounded by grease collar and abrasion or contusion called. Just remember, I will show you later. Just try to understand. Okay. At the same time, if the person is intermediate range, there will be wound of entry with abrasion and grease collar. But in addition to that, there will be tattooing. Simple. So there may be a question. Only tattooing around the wound of entry seen in intermediate shot. If the target is in the near range or near shot, there will be wound of entry along with grease collar and abrasion collar. Plus, there will be tattooing. Plus, there will be blackening or smudging. Blackening or smudging. Okay. Now, if the target is in close range or close shot, wound of entry with abrasion grease collar plus tattooing plus blackening plus burning of the skin that is scorching of the skin and singeing that is burning of the hair. Okay. Near shot, I'm going, contact shot, I am going to explain later. Okay. Here, already I told I classify under three headings, tight contact, loose contact, angled contact, that I explained later. Now, grease collar. Grease collar is also known as dirt collar or bullet wipe. In AIMS exam once they use the word bullet wipe. What is this bullet wipe or dirt collar or grease collar? Look here. It is the residue from the barrel. Residue from the barrel. What do you mean by residue from the barrel? Look here. If you keep the gun openly, or keep a gun for a long time, the barrel may get rusted or entire weapon may get rusted. That's why they apply grease, not only outside, even inside the barrel, they apply the grease at the same time. You see, if you don't use your table for a long time or even one day or two days, you can see a lot of dust on the table. Likewise, in the opening of the muzzle end, through the muzzle end, the dust as well as fibers, whatever the minute elements may enter inside the barrel along with grease or oil. When the bullet is fired from the gun, when the bullet is coming out through the barrel, the bullet surface will be smudged by this residue from the barrel that is grease, fiber or whatever it is. Okay, now we'll look here. Now I am showing you the bullet with grey color. That means bullet is covered with the dirt. Dirt. Once it penetrates the skin, as it is going into the skin, whatever the dirt around the bullet surface will be wiped by the margins of the skin and get collected around the edges of the wound. Okay, this grease get collected around the edges, circularly around the wound. That is known as grease collar. Okay, now you understood what do you mean by grease collar or bullet wipe or dirt collar. Okay, now you can see in this picture the grease collar. In this picture also we can see the grease collar. Okay, now what do you mean by abrasion collar? As I showed in the picture, once there is penetration, there will be invagination of the skin. And bullet always goes with spinning. The spinning bullet causes friction with the invaginated skin and it causes an abrasion or sometimes even a contusion around the wound. That is known as 
aberration collar or contusion collar. Okay. Now, what is true about bullet Y? Ames number 19. You already got the answer. They derived from the residue from the barrel of the gun. Okay. Now, distant range. How the picture is? You can see the wood of entry. Surrounded by the grease collar. Surrounded by the abrasion or contusion collar. Sometimes only abrasion collar, rarely only contusion collar, sometimes both may be there. Okay, this is the diagrammatic representation. This is the actual picture. You can see the wound of entry surrounded by abrasion collar. If this picture image is given in the exam, without any second thought, you can say that it is distant shot. There is no tattooing, no blackening, no burning, no singing, nothing. Only wound of entry with abrasion collar. Okay. Now, wood of entry and abrasion collar, the appearance may differ depending on whether the bullet has entered at 90 degrees straight, perpendicular or oblique. If the bullet enters perpendicularly into body, say for example, I just stand and shoot a person into his chest, then wound of entry also circular, abrasion collar also circular. But imagine, I am standing in the first floor of a building, I shoot a person who is walking on the ground floor, then bullet enters tangentially, then the wound of entry will be egg-shaped or ovoid in shape, ovoid. Okay. Now, for example, in this picture, I can say that the person has been fired from below upwards. Okay. Now, shape of the abrasion collar in tangential entry is ovoid. Abrasion collar has to know the direction of the bullet direction of the bullet. Now, number two, intermediate range or intermediate shot. The person is beyond the reach of the smoke but within the reach of the powder particles. But already I told you, you can see wound of entry with grease collar and abrasion collar. Along with that, there will be tattooing. Okay. Look here. Same picture just like distant shot but in addition to that, there will be tattooing. There will be tattooing. That is, what you see in intermediate shot, this is the actual picture. You can see the wound of entry with the abrasion collar. Grease collar is not always easy to identify. Okay, many times there may not be grease only. Okay, with multiple tattooing. If this picture is given in the exam, image is given, immediately you can say that it is intermediate shot. Now, a dead body with gunshot wound is brought to the master on examination. There was a wound of entry with abrasion collar and inverted merge surrounded by tattooing without burning and blackening range of firing is automatically you got the answer intermediate okay meantime same question as asked in am 16 the following is victim of firearm injury what is the suspected distance of the shot wound of entry can see above the left eyebrow surrounded by multiple tattooing it is a case of intermediate range intermediate range okay number three near shot or near range person is away from the reach of the flame but within the reach of the smoke how will be the wound appearance of the wound same as intermediate range but in addition to that there will be blackening there will be blackening as long as you see blackening along with tattooing, you can say that it is near shot as you see in this picture. Okay. Okay. Now, how to differentiate between intermediate shot and near shot? In the first picture, what you see, intermediate, you can see wound of entry with tattooing. Second picture, wound of entry, tattooing and blackening. Okay. Only tattooing and blackening around the wound are seen in near shot near shot okay number four close range or close shot sometimes also we call it as point blank that means the target is just away from the muzzle but within the reach of the flame here appearance is again same as near shot but in addition to that there will be burning of the skin and singeing of the hair burning of the skin and singeing of the hair okay now, I hope all of you understood properly. If you remember so much, then definitely you can score minimum one, which is asked with the rifle fire. 
okay now lastly contact shot in contact shot i told i classify under three headings person is in contact with the muzzle end of the barrel all the products will be entering into the wound track okay this is contact shot all will enter into the wound but it may be hard contact or firm contact or tight contact that means there is indentation of the skin as you see here or as you see in the picture there is indentation of the skin absolutely no gap between skin and muzzle absolutely no gap between skin and muzzle all the products of firing enters the wound track already I told but because of the pressure and because of the rebound phenomena and because of the sorry this uh, heating of the barrel muzzle end of the barrel you get a muzzle impression in this picture you can see only muzzle impression with wood of entry we can say that it is tight contact short at the same time we can try to identify the causative gun okay now number 2 loose contact Loose contact means there is no indentation. There is no indentation. But what happens is, once the bullet is fired, there will be imagination of the skin. Then there will be a gap between imaginated skin and the muzzle end of the barrel. There will be a gap between skin and muzzle due to imagination of skin. Bullet will not escape. powder particles also will not escape but the smoke and soot to certain extent sometimes the flame and hot air will escape and it give rise to appearance of wound of entry surrounded by blackening it is just like in god's image we can see the head surrounded by a halo that's why it is known as corona corona so what you see of course wood of entry is there surrounded by blackening that is known as corona there may be burning because of the hot air as well as the flame escaping through the gap meantime there may be burning of the hair known as singeing of the hair and muzzle impression is unlikely muzzle impression is unlikely because there is no firm contact unlikely rarely you can see muzzle impression that regarding loose contact corona is seen in i uh, already mentioned loose contact shot number 3 angled contact shot as you see in the picture there is angle definitely there will be gap between the muzzle and the skin and through the gap only bullet will not escape all other products of firing may escape just like you are like you are bird unburnt and partially burnt particle in the suit to flame hot air everything now you can see the wound of entry may be ovoid in shape along with that even the spreading of the blackening and tattooing also you can see in a ovoid shape and you can see the blackening as you see the picture you can see the tattooing you can see the burning you can see the singeing not in this picture of course okay and partial muzzle impression because one side muzzle is touching the skin it may give rise to partial muzzle impression okay but contact shot on bony areas like head and sternum there is gap between the skin and the bone so what happens see the gas get escape between the skin and the bone and it give rise to a temporary formation of a bulge formation of a temporary bulge the formation of a bulge which is temporary as soon as person fired there will be temporary bulge most of the time contact shots are suited in nature most of the time gun falls what are the gas collected in the bulge try to escape through the same wound of entry which give rise to splitting of the skin which give rise to stellate shaped or cruciate shape or irregular shaped wood of entry otherwise as i told it may be circular or ovoid 
but here it will be irregular cruciate and that give rise to large irregular wood large irregular wood okay that is regarding the rifle fire of wood ballistics on the skin large irregular draws wood is seen in contact shot contact shot tellet wood is seen in again contact wood okay now cherry red discoloration as you know very well whenever blood comes in contact with carbon monoxide it gives rise to cherry red discoloration because of carboxyhemoglobin formation of carboxyhemoglobin when do you, where is the carbon monoxide carbon monoxide will be present in the smoke and soot smoke and cherry red discoloration is seen in case of number 1 contact shot because smoke will be there then close shot as well as near shot when our target is in the contact shot or close range or near range cherry red discoloration can be seen okay now in a firearm injury there is burning black and tattooing around the wound along with cherry red color of the surrounding tissue and is cruciate in shape the injury is when our it is cruciate it has to be contact shot it has to be contact shot okay A middle-aged lady was found in a robbed room, lying in a pool of blood. On forensic examination, there was an entry wound of size around one into one centimeter on the left temporal region, with tattooing and blackening around the wound. There was also an exit wound with bevelling at the right temporal region. On further examination, two bullet fragments were found inside the brain parenchyma. Which of the following could be used to determine the distance from which the weapon was fired? Now we see in this case. bullet fragments are there that means it is a rifle firearm wound at the same time they have mentioned that there is tattooing and blackening around the wound was there is tattooing and blackening that means that it is a near shot now we have come to know that it is near shot it is not intermediate shot it is not a distant shot it is a near shot now how can you change your opinion from near shot to close or contact whatever it is? bullet fragments only thing you can see at a rifle firearm blood once you see the cherry red color in the blood you can say whether it is near or close or contact we can't give a particular opinion close in the head generally there will be no head but if a person is wearing muffler or hijab then there will be cloth but you already mentioned that there is tattooing and blackening that's mean there is no cloth cloth not present now only thing we would like to see the hair if there is singeing of the hair we can say that it is not a near shot it is close shot close shot so answer is hair answer is hair okay a person was shot by a revolver and dies on examination there was soot deposition around the wound of entry peppering was spread over a large area the skin was not burned and the hair was not seen what is the approximate distance of firing now it is in a set level question it is a revolver handgun i told you a revolver flame goes up to 8 cm smoke goes up to 15 cm and this powder particles goes up to half meter now peppering was spread all over a large area so peppering is present peppering is present up to 50 cm so we can say that it is less than 50 cm now next question soot deposition soot can go up to 15 cm soot is present so distance is less than 15 cm now hair is not seen hair can seen only up to 8 cm that means 3 inches so it is more than 8 cm So three eight centimeter mean three inches. So answer is more than three inches, less than six inches. Three to six. So answer is five. Okay, you got it. Okay. Same question, slightly different. Again, it is revolver. There is no suit deposition, but peppering present. Okay, peppering present means less than fifty centimeter. No suit. That means more than fifty centimeter. Singeing is immaterial here, so answer is fifteen to fifty centimeter. That means it is one foot. One foot. Okay, that is 
the discussion on rifled firearm mode of entry. Now, let me just tell you, bullet shot into the skull. Many times you went to ask me, sir, how to differentiate between entry wound and exit wound. Let me tell in brief. Skull is made of an outer table and inner table. When the bullet enters, penetrates the outer table, it makes a clean cut. As it enters and hits the inner table at the wound of entry, inner table shatters. As you see in the picture, inner table shatters. So, it gives rise to clean wound of entry in the outer table, but inner table will be shattered. At the same time, once it comes at the other side with the wound of exit, when it penetrates the inner table, it makes a clean cut and once it comes out through the outer table, it shatters. It shatters and gives rise to beveling. Beveling. Imagine you are taking a drilling machine and making a hole through a plastered wall. As you enter, the plastering cuts cleanly, but if you go inside, inside and try to come out other side, a big piece of plastering, cement plastering will form. That is crater. It forms a crater. That is known as beveling. That is known as beveling. So now, bullet shot into the skull, wound of entry, outer table is clean cut, inner table beveling. How to say this in the table? You can see the markings of the vessels and shining, listening in a table. Wood of exit. Inner table will be clean cut. Outer table, there is beveling or crater formation. Beveling or crater formation. I hope all of you understood. Okay, I show you a question over here. See, this is the picture where you can see the beveling. Where you can see the beveling. Okay. See, this is also same picture already shown. Okay. Now, if they give you this picture, image, what of entry or exit? Answer is entry. This is exit because you can see the beveling. Okay. That is regarding the rifle for our wound ballistics. Some question about that. Wound of entry and exit over the skull can be differentiated from beveling. Okay. Crater like outer table crater is seen in wound of exit. Exit wound of gunshot. Okay. Beveling of inner table skull suggests inner table beveling wound of entry. Wound of entry. Okay. Now, I have finished this portion. Anybody has any doubt, you can ask me. Do you have any doubts? Tell me. Even if you don't have doubts also, if you are not watching the video, you can ask me in my Telegram group. Just type Forensic JP. And also I have images. All the images in Forensic Medicine I have given. That is Forensic underscore JP in Telegram. Forensic underscore JP. All images, around 250, 300 images of forensic medicine I have given along with the captions. At the same time, if you have any doubts in future, at the same time I conduct some quizzes also that you can see a telegram of forensic GP. Okay? Wish you all the best. Bye bye. Study well. Don't take any tension. Always be cool. Be in composed mentis and sit and study for your exam. Okay? Bye bye.